Hey guys, Brandon here with another video. And today we're gonna to be going over a clutch review for clutch number four. And the dad to that one was a male you've already seen, which is the Candy Genetics Stripe Boy. So he produced a clutch paired with our albino spider female of nine babies. So without further ado, let me show you those babies now. So here we have baby number one. So these have all taken their first meals and they are all set up in their own individual tubs. So here he is. So this one here is a Candino Spider, 100% HET for genetic stripe. So color really hasn't started coming in on these guys just yet, but they do have some really cool pattern on their body as spiders generally do. And um, yeah, I mean, I haven't really noticed any kind of weird kind of movement or anything like that from any of these guys, nor have I from the mom. So these are super solid babies and I think spiders in general get a little bit of a bad rap. So overall, pretty cool baby. Again, this is baby number one which is a Candino Spider, 100% HET for genetic stripe. So let me grab baby number two. And look, another Candino Spider, 100% HET genetic stripe, also a male. I like to order my hatchlings from male to female, and then if possible, also by morph. So it makes it a little easier to kind of go through things. So again, this one is a male Candino spider, 100% het for genetic stripe. Same really cool pattern as the other one. He's got some really kind of cool pinks and stuff coming in along the sides of his body right next to like those white kind of webbing markings that the spiders have. But again, no, uh, no spider movement or other things, just a solid little baby ball python that does not want me to unball him so really cool though let's get real close in there for you no no now you want to turn to me no back to the camera show everybody your pretty face yeah. really beautiful clutch and super strong eaters too all right baby number three so here we have a male Candino, 100% het for genetic stripe. So again, a Candino is the combination of both candy and albino. So these do actually get like a nice kind of purple to them. The candy stuff actually gets a little bit darker and towards the end of the video, I will pull out one of the candy um, animals from the second clutch that we had this year as those are already starting to kind of purple up a bit. So again, here we have a male candy 100% het for genetic stripe. Really beautiful animal with some kind of nice soft yellows and a little bit of a off-white kind of color coming in. All right, on to baby number four. So here we have baby number four, which is another Candino, het genetic stripe male. I like this guy because he's got this kind of like really neat kind of white flaking kind of in between the alien heads coming across like the belly. And he does have a little bit more kind of purples and stuff coming through than say the other ones do. But that's just like an animal by animal thing. Really, really pretty guy here. I believe this was baby number four. Again, male, Candino, had genetic stripe. All right, let me go grab baby number five. So baby number five and the last male of the group is another Candino, 100% HET for genetic stripe. Again, really cool pattern. 
nice orangey kind of yellows. And this guy has some pretty like vibrant kind of dots along his back, which are pretty cool. Good sized babies, all super strong and healthy and eating right off the bat. Every single one of these took their first meals. Really pretty animals. So again, this was the last male and baby number five. So let's grab the first female. So here we have first female, baby number six, a Candino spider, 100% het for genetic stripe. A lot of really nice color kind of hiding on this girl. She's also just trying to be super shy. But let her open up a little bit and we'll show her off to you. Really cool pattern on her. Yep, just colorful, pretty. Really like how these things turned out, as I've probably said several times in the video. They're just a nice kind of soft yellow, kind of orange. And then those areas where there's that white and stuff that's coming through, eventually that will come off as a nice kind of lighter, kind of purple color. What I might actually do is pull out, uh, I think she might be in shed though, is my um, Candino Pied female. She's, she's really pretty. And she, uh, she has a lot of really nice purples and stuff coming in on her. So, all right, next baby up. So here we have baby number seven, another Candino Spider, 100% het for genetic stripe. Again, same thing as the others. This one is a little bit more reduced, which I think is actually a really cool look because you get a lot more of that kind of orange yellow kind of stuff coming through. And she just has a couple little swatches of kind of that kind of off white kind of coming in in between, which is pretty nice. But much like all the other ones, no wobble, no craziness. So I'm really liking how, uh, how all these babies turned out. They're all super healthy and super strong which is great because as I mentioned, the spider stuff gets a little bit of a bad rap. But nonetheless, here she is, baby number seven. So let me go grab number eight. And here we have it, another Candino spider hat for genetic stripe. I got a lot of these Candino spider females. So it's kind of interesting, but they're super pretty, so I don't really mind. And I'm sure if someone wants in on the uh, Genetic Stripe Candy or Candino project, these will fit really nicely. Or honestly, if they just want a really pretty pet. So either way, female and baby number eight. Again, pretty high pattern on this one. Some really cool kind of open areas within the pattern where that kind of white and off white's gonna come through. And much like every other baby, Super strong feeding response and uh, just super solid. Again, no wobbling, no corkscrewing, none of that crazy stuff. Just a beautiful, healthy little ball python. All right, let's get to the last one, baby number nine. So here is baby number nine. And she is a Candino female, het for genetic stripe. Super pretty much like the males. Really nice kind of yellow, orange color. She does have a little bit more kind of color already kind of creeping through a little bit, which is pretty interesting and really colorful. And I think let's do a fun little comparison here real quick. So, so here we have the Candino. Here we have a candy. So you can already see a lot of variance in color. This thing is just looking insane already. And then right here we have an Orange Dream Lavender Hepfer Pied. So this one here is definitely the most orange as far as like the saddle color goes, but the purples are still coming in. The candy is insanely saturated 
with purples already. So if you just look at that and then compare that. So if you were to throw all three in there, so again, Orange Dream Lavender, Het for Pied. Next up we have a Candy Het Genetic Stripe. And then lastly, we have the Candy, you know, which eventually will color up a little bit more, but they're beautiful animals nonetheless. And if you'd like, you can check out our Morph Market and find at least two of these animals up there. We'll get a couple more meals in these guys and have them up there soon to find an animal for a newer existing project and follow us on Instagram at Nixon Reptiles. All right, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.